months ago, I heard about a unique organisation called Casting for Recovery UK and Ireland. They combine fly fishing with other forms of therapy for women who have either had or have breast cancer. I'm here at Duncton Mill in West Sussex on a rather wet Sunday afternoon to meet Sue Hunter, who founded Casting for Recovery in the UK, to ask her how she started it and what it's all about. I'd had breast cancer, it's my second diagnosis, and a friend took me fly fishing. And um, I'd heard about Casting for Recovery in the US then and uh, decided it ought to come to the UK as well. And with the aid of some of my friends in the um, England team, I um, managed to get things moving and then got some sponsorships with Countryside Alliance and uh, all this, and from there we went from strength to strength. We've been sponsoring Casting for Recovery in the United States since the beginning. So when we were approached in the UK, it was a very logical extension of our existing programs in the US and we were delighted to be one of the founding sponsors in the UK operation. We have a good solid core team. We have um, a medical coordinator, she's a qualified counsellor and a qualified breast care nurse. We have a counselling assistant. Um, we have two or three core qualified coaches um, who are all weak female as well. We have um, a couple of girls that have volunteered to turn up whenever to do whatever and of course um, we have a couple of retreat coordinators as well. I felt that I opened up hugely and I just felt very safe. I felt very safe. The girls and the guys were brilliant at teaching us how to fly fish. But to have somebody there, if there was a blip, for me personally there wasn't one, fortunately, but it just made it more special. The, um, the counsellors are essential because it adds to the credibility of, of the whole, the course, to everything else. It makes it specific to what we're all here for. And I know for some people they privately went to see the counsellor and it was very, very good for them. Coming here and given the opportunity to talk about my cancer experience with other women who had been through exactly the same thing and have the opportunity to have some counselling or know where you can go for further information, that was really good. And when I saw on the itinerary, you know, there were counselling sessions, I thought, oh no, it's not going to be any better. But it's completely different completely different and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Everybody's doing this voluntarily and, and basically the team we have at the moment is just about like capacity and what they're able to do but we'll find a way to, to, to move forward. It's quite difficult to select a venue, I mean there's no such thing as um, an, an ugly fishery if you like but um, we are quite specific about our needs, we have certain criteria we must take into account primarily the women's safety, accessibility, maybe restrictions on their mobility. We also need, because of the nature of the programme and the way we cut the fly fishing up um, and intersperse it with other elements and modules, we need, um, we need access to a hotel within about 15 minutes drive. It was just wonderful, everything was done for us and it, it was very special. It's a whole new process, you're totally out of your comfort zone and yet within a very short space of time you're totally in your comfort zone because you're surrounded by people who know where you're coming from I suppose. It probably was the best weekend of my life. The women don't pay anything, we pay for everything. Um, we've, we're sponsored, as I said, and we're able to cover the cost of the retreat entirely. All they have to do is get themselves there. I think it was probably the idea of doing something new, you know, doing something different that I'd never done before. So, and it was the opportunity to do it for free, so, you know, it didn't sort of cost me anything in terms of finance, and it was just to turn up and see, you know, see what was going to happen, really. This year we've done four. We've actually quadrupled the size of the operation in one year and I know we're going to have to expand again next year. Um, I think that we have some funding in place and we have had people donate whole retreats to us um, for next year in, in their entirety. People have come forward. We've had tremendous support from the angling community. Everybody's pitching in. I think so many people have been affected by breast cancer or know somebody who's been affected by breast cancer. We're, we're just getting phenomenal support. I think they've already demonstrated there is a huge interest in this kind of therapy, particularly post-operative, and uh, we see that there's a great demand long-term right across the UK and into Ireland as well, which I know the girls are developing. So we see it as a great long-term business, if you will. I have noticed that um, from some of the areas where we've had women coming on the retreats, from some of those areas um, we've had other women applying and it seems that they've gone back to their breast cancer support groups in that area. And I've also told several friends who've been on this little journey about the charity and they're in the system now, hoping to go on a retreat. Come, just come. even if you don't want to fishing, 
it doesn't matter just come and enjoy it don't be afraid to come because it's totally different when you get here go for it is probably the best thing you'll ever do it really helps you feel that there is life after cancer take time out for for you um, learn something new be in beautiful surroundings and just just be you or get your name down as soon as possible simple as that yes if if you see you know either get in touch with the countryside alliance website or the casting for recovery website and yes yes get uh, get involved it's um, very very therapeutic and yes yeah, very good for you um, i'd like to see the medical community see cfr as a resource for women with breast cancer i came here one person and left a better person for it i feel that weekend really did kick start me and get me being enthusiastic about life again I just felt I arrived as a cancer patient and I left as me. I've never looked back. Hopefully other ladies will feel the same way. Uh, we have very big plans, very big ideas. Um, we're sure we're going to achieve them, but we're going to need lots of help from people. So if anybody can, thinks they can support us in any way, shape, shape or form, please contact us. Well, there you have it. There seems little doubt from those I've been speaking to today that the Casting for Recovery programme has a more than positive effect on the ladies who attend the retreats. I'd like to go and catch a fish now. <laughs> fishing. I never thought I'd say that, but yeah, I love the fishing. Can I get back to fishing now? Can you tell I'm sort of itching? <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to have to cast again now. <laughs> it's well worth supporting, and like most non-profit-making organisations, they need more funding to continue with this good work. Oh.